I think we've found it. <laughs> Good morning. So last week I had a bit of an accident. Um, it turns out I need a root canal and a crown. And we're in uh, Europe, southern eastern Europe, in Albania. We're going to find out what Albanian dentistry is like today. So um, I'm from the UK and our dentists are really bad. It's impossible to get an appointment. And if you don't visit every two years, they kick you off the list. It's absolutely impossible. And taxpayers pay for that too. So today, we're not going to go to Budapest. We're not going to go to this typical European dental holidays. We're going to go to Tirana, Albania. And here we are at Durej Dental. So we're going to find out what happens. Is Durej Dental any good? Well, I'll be the guinea pig today. So you can find out if it's worth coming to Albania for dental treatment. And here we are. Right up there. Well then, let's go. Is this the door? <laughs> oh boy. So we, uh, we went the wrong way. So later in the video, I'll show you how much it costs, what it's like, and everything else. Is this us? Uh oh. It's a bit of a security checkpoint at the dentist. Huh? Having a little trouble finding the entrance. I think we've found it. <laughs> I'm sorry, teeth. Look at the window, or lack of window. No? Oh no. Okay, okay I think we found it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, baby, hello. Hi, hello. Uh, 10 a.m. Sean. Uh, uh, what's your name? Sean. Sean. For the root canal and crown. Okay, with uh, with uh, which doctor have you talked? Don't know. Okay, can you sit? And yeah, it's okay. 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 Okay, do you think it's gonna go well? Okay, famous last words, let's find out. It's uh, this one up here. Highlighting all my flaws. <laughs> it's come. 
Yeah, I, um, I went to an x-ray place down the road, I think it was like four minutes of walking and you pay 10 euros. Well, I think the dentist paid, then I pay him. But anyone off the street can pay 10 euros for a pano, pano, panographic? You know the one that goes wrong? Panoramic. Yeah, panoramic. So 10 euros, you can get one of these and anyone can walk in. You don't need a referral or anything, but yeah, super quick. Sometimes you wait for 30 minutes, he said, because it's quite busy, because all the dentists go there. But um, yeah, you know, no. And I got um, Sorry. a free man. Can you tell me something? How do you feel? Like, what, there's like one bit in there and it goes right through you, it goes... Oh... You know, he's sweating, you know. <laughs> I think it's because it's a big tooth. I think maybe the roots are big or the nerves are big, but it, it like connects to your ear, your head, and it's just like... Yeah, that's why, that's why I take my jacket off too. <laughs> Oh wow. Mm. Yeah, it looks cool, isn't it? Oh, wow. <laughs> you can swim there now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's just one, I have to use both. They put two in my mouth. It was, but that's why I was like, <laughs> okay. Okay. <coughs> Yes, we have the impression now. You want to tell? Okay, I guess I don't have okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure. <laughs> Can you tell me what why it's important to have that take that impression? Uh, because uh, it's need to to take uh, very good all the part of the teeth. Okay, now we know. So they can, uh, I suppose, send that away to a, a lab or something. Make the crown out of the materials that we yeah. want the crown made out of, I suppose. Okay. Now, this is impression. So, what do you think about your proceed? It was good, uh, yeah, soft, it was really good because um, 
the last time I had a root canal in the UK was through the NHS. So I, I got a discount because it's through the government, like the taxpayers' money. But the guy was training to dentists at this at the at the time, so he was letting them um, put the you know file out the root with the files and. He was trying to teach them on my mouth, and I, but it was a little painful because I, I think they didn't do the anesthesia all the way, so it was one of the roots was felt a bit tender at the time. But um, I mean, they did it, but it wasn't uh, great, you know. But yeah. to be honest, coming here, you can see the difference in the yeah, quality. Of course. Of care. Yeah. In, in the UK and in America, if you need a root canal and you don't have too much money, they won't give you the root canal treatment, they'll just extract the tooth. So a lot of people without too much money, they'll just pull the tooth out rather than do the canal. And a lot of people can't afford the root canal because you're looking at maybe £300 or something, but then the crown will be £1,500. And a lot of people that live uh, paycheck to paycheck can't afford, you know, eighteen hundred to fix that. So they end up with missing teeth, and that's why I have some missing here because I, I couldn't afford the treatment. But now, um, later your your gum um, uh, recedes over time, so it's harder to get an implant because the gum is, the wall is narrowed, so you end up with situations like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. The material of the crown, is it zircose? Yeah. yeah, it'll make the crown and then... How long does it take to make the crown at the lab? Maximum two days. Oh, maximum, oh, that's really cool. So in the UK, it, it, it takes it one take year. <laughs> a week or two weeks. Yeah, one year. <laughs> maximum two days, but it can finish then for 24 hours. Oh, really? Wow. Okay, we're just leaving. So we're coming back at Monday at 4 p.m. Um, to get the crown fitted. Uh, they can actually make the crown in 24 hours here. One of those zir zirco, zirco. I don't know. Um, but yeah, 24 hours. It's not bad, is it? So I have some um, pills I need to take. I think they're for infection and pain. So we're gonna get those now, and then we'll be back in three days. <laughs> so these are the buggers. All right. Okay, we have the pills. So if you want to know how much pills cost, I got 10 here and it costs $3.50. I'll be honest, it's um, almost 4 a.m. and the pain is so bad, it's so bad. Uh, the anti-inflammatories they gave me, you saw the bit of paper, so I don't think I can have ibuprofen with them, but I can have um, paracetamol or acetaminophen for you guys in, uh, in America. So I've, I've just been pounding those, but it hurts so much. I don't even know how they're going to get the crown on in three days' time, but it's absolutely killing me. <laughs> now, I had a root canal before. Um, it was more forward, so the tooth was a lot smaller. Uh, the roots are a lot smaller then, too. But this one is just right at the back, and it's just connected to your ear, your brain and if someone talks to you you're just like oh please be quiet be quiet <laughs> oh man so stay tuned because in three days time i'm going to reveal how much everything costs the crown uh, the the root canal for three roots and a composite filling on the front, so everything. Um, but now I'm gonna 
I'm gonna try and get back to sleep. Maybe I can get a couple of hours in. Okay, I'll see you in three days. Hello again. It's three days later. We're going back to the dentist right now to get the crown fitted and uh, continue with the dental treatment. Okay, I'll see you in the dentist. So there it is. It's ready to be uh, plucked in. Hello. Needs a color here that it's bigger than. Ah, I see. Okay. So, so that's how you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. So, I just got the crown fitted. It took, I think, about an hour or something like that. Uh, he was putting in the papers to make sure the bite points were correct. And, um, yeah, um, it wasn't too bad, really. All done now. And um, he polished my uh, teeth for free at the end. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> so, I didn't end up having to pay for additional cleaning x-rays, he just did it for me for free. So yeah, it's a super nice guy. Anyway, it's absolutely raining and chucking it down here. I'll um, see you guys in a second. The pharmacy there just tried to scam me. I had a prescription for amoxicillin and B-complex and they tried to give me a 33 euro um, tube of 50 B-complex. Unbelievable. But we have the drugs. Okay, that's good. So can someone tell me if I got ripped off here? I have 24 grams of amoxicillin for 6 euros and some biofloor to protect your stomach for the amoxicillin, which is these sachets, for 10 euros. It can't be right, right? But the thing is, on my prescription, it only had two things, the amoxicillin and the B-complex. But the guy in the pharmacy, he started grabbing stuff off the shelf, you know, um, consumables, not, not the ones behind the counter. And he had this um, jar of B-complex, and more B-complex, and he said, oh no, you, you need to thicken the blood with this one. And it was 3,300 lek, which is like $33. And I'm like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm not paying for that. <laughs> but because it's a cash society, I didn't have cash, only card. And a lot of pharmacies don't even take cards, so I was, I was kind of stuck. I'm pretty sure I got scammed, but, um, but yeah. Pharmacy Baloku, I think you scammed me. So I'm not sure how it works, but I got my prescription. And for whatever reason, they give you your prescription back with the pills, so... I guess I can go back in and get it again. <laughs> Unless it's a mistake, I don't know. <laughs> Random. Okay, so it's the moment you've all been waiting for. How much did everything cost? It's the big question. <laughs> well, if it was in the UK, it would probably be about £2,000. How much was it in Tirana, Albania? Well, this is how much I paid. So this is the receipt from my card payment. I don't know if you can see that. But um, it's 290 euros for everything. So let me pull up the invoice now so you can have a look. So the invoice is a little wrong. Um, the root canal and the crown together were 250 euros. Uh, so this has an extra line item for the canal, which is wrong. That should be removed. Um, so the uh, porcelain fused zirconia crown uh, with the root canal of three roots because it's the seventh molar was 250 euros total and then at the end we can see the composite filling which was the white filling I asked him to do at the front uh, was 40 euros making a total of uh, it should be 29,000 lek which is 290 euros uh, and you can see that on my bank statement as well. And the reason I show you the receipts and the statement is because I'm not um, 
you know, um, certified by the dentist. I don't work for the dentist. I only met them for the first time last week. Uh, this video is primarily created for those of you who can't afford dental treatment, you've had bad dental treatment in your own country and you want to try to fly to a different country to get some better treatment but not only that, cheaper treatment as well. So I've been the guinea pig in the video so hopefully you can consider coming to Albania and getting your teeth fixed as well. I, I had a good experience, uh, hopefully you do as well. Uh, but anyway, that's how much everything costs and um, what I'm going to do now is wait a few weeks wait for everything to heal. If there's lingering uh, tooth nerve issues, I'm gonna wait for all those to go away and then I'm gonna wrap up the video, assuming everything goes okay and just leave you with some final thoughts. But that's how much everything costs. Okay, hello again. It's been a lot of weeks since my last update. I'm pretty much on the other side of the world right now. So, and the reason for that being, I wanted to give it a few weeks to heal anything in your mouth to do with bone and teeth takes a long time to heal so i thought i'd wrap up the video make sure i had no problems and then i can summarize everything you just watched especially if you're considering going to another country to get a dental treatment like albania so if you're wondering about getting cheap dental treatment then Al albania you know it's a great it's a great place to be um the capital city tirana there was so much th many things to do um Coming from the UK, maybe in, even America as well, you don't really know anything about Albania. It's, it's kind of hard to pinpoint something to do in that country. But when we were there, we like ran around the mountains. They had a national park. The city is great. The food is cheap. So there's lots of things to do. So it was actually really cool. And then you can turn that into a mega trip and maybe go down to Greece or something like that. Maybe Corfu. So... Yeah, highly recommend it, and they did a great job. Uh, the guy that worked on my teeth is Dr. Devi. I believe he works at the clinic, but it might be owned by someone else, I think. Again, I'm not affiliated. I, I, I don't know. I'm just a customer. I reached out to them, and I, I paid the price, you know. Um, but I just wanted to let you know how it went in Albania. Um, they do lots of different treatments, root canals, but they also do implants as well. So if, if you ever want implants, you can get those done and they use a lot of the materials from trusted sources. So if you have a problem with the socket or something like that, you're not stuck with a proprietary Albanian socket. You can kind of get it maybe serviced and replaced in another country. So th there's things like that as well to consider if you want to do dental treatment there. But yeah, if you want to set up an appointment, you can contact them Facebook, Instagram. I'll put everything in the description below so you can reach out to Duraj Dental and uh, book an appointment. I pretty much messaged them the day before and they scheduled me in for a root canal uh, with pretty much no, no notice. I know if I do that in the UK, I have to book about what, a month ahead of time and that's if I can get a dentist. Uh, similar in America as well, obviously money talks, but... So yeah, it's pretty cool. And the other thing is the dentist reached out to me on Instagram twice after the treatment as well, just to make sure I was okay. He was like, oh, hey, you okay? How are you doing? How's your mouth doing? So it's, it has like quite a personal touch, which is something I'm definitely not used to. I'm thinking, why is the dentist messaging me? But different country, different culture, but it's, it's nice that they kind of value you. They think about you after you leave, you know, so that's pretty cool. So again, I hope you like the video. I, I hope you like the video. Something completely different. But um, yeah, if you're considering it, then Duras Dental is the place to be. Tell them you saw the video on Sean Travels. Not because I'll get anything, but um, maybe because then they'll realize that this crazy person with a camera inside our dental clinic was an okay idea and not a stupid weird one. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.